you are welcome to another episode of Church Boys. Today, I have you a wonderful guest. And on this show, I mean, I interview singers, instrumentalists, drummers, keyboardists, everything, some, and where they come here and come and tell me about their journey and tell you also about their journey. So, today, I have you a wonderful guest. I'm going to let him introduce himself and we'll take it from there. So, director, please tell the people who you are, what you play, and which church you fellowship. Okay, I'm Caleb Asari. Okay. I play the saxophone. Mm-hmm. And I am. Um, with um, Maranatha Evangelistic Ministries, okay. Edun Kumasi, Edun Kumasi. Headquarters. Okay. headquarters, Upper Road. This is right to have at the headquarters. Okay, we, thank you very much. Yeah, so we, we, have, we, are, we are very happy to have you on this show. I'm very happy to have you on this show. Thank yeah, you. so as you say, it's a saxophonist. Yeah, Some of me, if you don't know saxophone, this is a saxophone. Yeah, so the first question for you is that, why saxophone? Why did you decide to play saxophone amongst all the instruments in the world? Drums is there, keyboard is there. I decided to play saxophone. Why? Um, okay, it started um, after BC, mm-hmm. yes, after BC, and um, someone who likes playing instruments a lot. Mm. I I always wanted to learn an instrument. Definitely. So, <laughs> uh, so um, way back in class five, okay. that's when I played my first instrument. That was the flute. Oh, okay. I, was, I was so good with it. So the flute that they were teaching in the school, or you and I started learning. They taught it. Um, sorry, they taught it in the school. In the they school. Us how to ah, play. you went to a good school. Okay. Yeah, sandwich. Uh, okay, <laughs> Mula. <laughs> okay. Yes. So it was it was part of our so, curriculum. curriculum. Sure. Yes, cultural dance. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we learned how to play the flute, and I was so good with the flute. When we we're done with BEC, and my dad, my dad was like. Um, he wants someone to come and train the young people in the church oh. how to play instruments. Sweet daddy. Mm. <laughs> how to play instruments. Yes, because our church instrumentalists, we are grown. grown. Mm. It's in Kwana Mobano. Yes, we don't have mm. young, young, young people. So he was like, he is bringing some, um, some two people on board from ICGC to come and teach us how to play instruments. So my dad wanted me to learn how to play the keyboard. I need to then my mind this, so mm. I say, oh, bye. Let's get it. So he bought me a keyboard, though. Oh, <laughs> he bought me a keyboard, and I went for um, the meeting with the people. I think two meetings or so, and I started with the keyboard. We were playing the keyboard, and then I realized I know. And fa- the near say and fa- me, I knew I, I I know that if I was to focus on the keyboard, I oh, come over, come over, but. I'm like that. I like to stand out. Okay. What everyone doesn't okay. like me. That's, okay. that's what I'll go for. Okay. So it was it was a music school actually. So it wasn't like it was only our church okay. boys. Okay. No. The two people that my dad brought me, they they had their own music school. Oh, 20, that they were 27 Melodies Institute of Music is at ah. um Tan Tan also. Tan also, okay. Yes. okay. okay. So we were going to turn also to join their students and oh all. okay hey ah. wow though we got there and like a lot of people obia 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 keyboard everyone is everyone body. keyboard Every girl body. boy young boy. so you you can leave a meeting now where she wear three chords <laughs> So if I'm getting what you're saying, what I'm trying to say is that you wanted to learn it, you were being told to learn a keyboard, but yes. you wanted to stand out, so you were like, oh, then let me learn it. Something that nobody's actually really learning. Exactly. So that's why you decided to choose saxophone. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a nice story. Okay. Was it difficult learning? Or because you had background story in the flutes, yeah. just transfer the knowledge. Okay, so when I went, I think in one of the meetings, I don't know where it came from. I was like, I will play the saxophone. But I think I got the idea of learning how to play the saxophone at CCC, mm. a certain wedding we went for. And I was really watching the, sax- the, the saxophonist. And I realized that, ah, that's my boy. how the, the guy they played the thing, Maybe. like how the flute did. Oh, nah, okay, it was, okay, okay. was kind of similar. Similar, bro. Ah. Yeah, similar. So I went to tell the trainer, the one who was teaching us how to play a keyboard, that I want to learn how to play saxophone. 
not knowing the other guy too is a sagophonist. Oh, oh Mama wow. Papa gave you. He's the one that taught me how to play mm. sagophone. Okay. So I came home and I told my dad that this is what change of course. I, I, I don't want to learn the keyboard again. I want to focus on sagophone. So yes, then my dad bought me a sagophone and the my dad uh, bought me a saxophone. Hey, who is your father? Who is your father? Who is your father? So, so, <laughs> so can you say that your introduction to instrument learning is as a result of an influence of your father? Or it was a personal desire? Uh, Where are you going to place it? Both. Both. Actually, okay. both. Okay, okay. okay. Because I would say it was, it, was the it was the desire that my dad realized. Realized, oh, okay. See, and okay. he was willing to help. help. Okay, because if I bought you tags of wow. Wow, I tap. Mm. I'm going to to buy me drums. Full set in my house. <laughs> Full set. <laughs> okay. So, can you share with us the first time you played in front of a huge crowd, like a huge audience? 20th August 2017. It's amazing you remember the date. Yes, 20th August 2017. And that was when our B series was came. That hey. day, nah, that Sunday, the evening. Not be, small, not be small details. <laughs> As when our B series was came. Uh, so, it was our children's day. Okay. And it was it was an amazing feeling. That was mm, my first time. it. Yes. So you, mm. so you were the one leading the band, like saxophone is there, you are the lead, so you are the one, yes, you are the yes, one leading. Yes. There was no vocalist, I was the one spelling the mm. song out and everything. Thank God. So since you are a saxophonist, I want to ask you this question. There's this trend that is happening all over the world, whereby people, when it's time for their birthdays, they just change now, they want to definitely get a saxophone to come and play the saxophone for them. I hope you get you understand what I'm trying to say. Happy birthday. So do you, what do you think about that trend or that as a saxophonist? What do you think about it? It's cool. It's, it's fine. Cool. You think yes. it's fine? Eh? It's fine. Me, they bore me, honestly. They bore me. Hey, then they bore you. <laughs> no, like the whole thing, they bore me. No, you know the players. Because I've played um, more no. birthday surprises no. than no. programs. Oh, yes. okay. That's amazing. So You they think it's fine? Yeah, it's fine. So, did they pay? Did they pay? Yes. Hey, how much can you The last time I checked, um, is the amount I've gotten from only birthday surprises. Mm. So, it's, it's more than 1,500. Hey, that was cow. Yes. This is last money. Please. So, you can raise funds from you, eh? <laughs> you got 100, 100 CDs. 100 mm. CDs. 100 CDs. 100 CDs. Uh, 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 and you play more than 15 times? Uh, more than more than 20. But uh, some some I didn't charge. One day. Some friends I charge 50. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Okay. So you think it's fine? Oh, it's, it's, it's cool. It's nice. It's cool. Mm. So uh, I think the last interview I did, uh, when you look at where gospel, Ghana gospel music is going right now, you can see that now instrumentalists are uh, in a better place because now everybody is playing live music. We'll be up a sober about live music. And we can clearly see the role of uh, saxophonists in songs now, whereby when you when you go into a complete band, you definitely find a saxophonist, saxophonist inside. So uh, have you thought of joining a band? If if you are not in a band, why have you not joined the band yet? I'm not in a band. But I wouldn't say I'm in a uh, band. Like a band that they go and play shabu shabu and songs. But if you come to my church, mom, I won't mm. sit down. So, uh, yeah, in our church, we have... We have squad. our people, okay, so okay. let me say, I mean, my church squad, but when we say a band where someone is going for a program, we have a, a Sonny Baggins band or a Jai House band, yeah, 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 then people are, you know, oh, no. and reason why, I think, I, I just, I just don't, don't feel like doing it. Yeah. That means that you don't do Shabu? Uh, no, no. You play, to my view, even though Shabo, Shabo is right, Shabo is a term for playing at different churches every time. You don't really have one place to play, so you are going sand, pa, 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 sand. So you don't do Shabo. Why me? I don't do Shabo. I have my own reasons, but why don't you do Shabo? My father won't allow me. <laughs> you won't allow me hey. to go and be playing, playing. Go, go. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, okay, we thank God. Okay, I think before the interview, you were telling me about something that one memorable moment you never forget. In your life, and concerning uh, so far as being a saxophonist is concerned, so can you share so that everybody can enjoy? Okay, so there was this program in our church, and Francis Samu came. <laughs> and Samu, almighty. Yes, I was the one um, playing the saxophone, so we were singing and 
uh, the, in- the intent. And it got to a, a, a point. He came with his backers, okay. his backing vocalist and all. So they, they had their microphone, and I also had my microphone. Okay. In. It got to a point. My mic wasn't working. Yeah, technical hitches. Mm. And that was when they needed the saxophone so to play. To play, fam. <laughs> that time he wasn't singing. Uh, he was praying. You see, uh, then, then since, ha, uh, if somebody goes sing, then, hey. boom, pa, yeah, oh, then, hey. then stuff. Uh huh. So <laughs> the vo- uh, the back the backers weren't using their microphones. So oh, you went to bed. I went to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. You are dead. I went, I went to take one of the backers. the standing mics from one backing vocalist. Say, oh, you for that means I'm coming to use the sax of, because my, my mic wasn't working as I as really? I said. So I was using the backing vocalist mic. So <laughs> Pastor Samu stopped ministry. Hey, came to me and did what? He blasted me. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was. Oh, I, oh, what did he say? I didn't hear. <laughs> if you didn't hear, I don't know how it was blasted. Because the, the, place, the place was noisy. Uh, no, no, no. no. Oh, so, so was, that, was it that the whole, uh, the whole congregation was paying attention to what was happening? Or just I think we were cutting in. This uh, is it, one class, he didn't talk into the mic. No, 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 no. He wasn't talking to me. Ah, okay. He came to me. Yeah, he came to me where the, um, the instrumental yes, is. Ah, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Then you are lucky. He you left lucky. the stage, came to me. And... Came to t- he was he was talking plenty, but I know that he was like, "Why did I go and take, take the, mic. the mic and all?" <laughs> and and was curious, so, but I think you are lucky. But I don't say down. lucky. You are fortunate that he didn't talk into the mic because yeah. Kobe Cam will be at him. So I was like, down and I went to sit down. He didn't play again. And oh, <laughs> and this and this guy, Afred Afre Afre Junior, yeah, Afred yeah. Afre Junior called me and he sat me down. And he spoke to me, son. Okay. Get, <laughs> as an instrumentalist, get ready. Get, get ready. There will be times where a part will be like, yeah, uh, you're not serious. You're not serious. Go and sit down. But they just take it in the field and uh, they continue. So I would say it was Afraid Junior that Jesus. encouraged me to come continue. back. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. So this question, I'll, be, I will, I will, I will always ask this question, no matter who I interview. Yes, people think that instrumentalists like girls. <laughs> and they have evidence, physical and current evidence to prove that, to prove their theory. Some of them are very true. So I want to ask you that is it two questions? Two, two, the questions in two is, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you've, heard, you've heard that instrumentalists like, like girls, but and you've heard that girls like instrumentalists. Some people some I'm, I'm coming. So, number one, instrumentalists like girls. Do you agree? Number two, do you think because of what we can do oh three questions actually number one instrumentalists like girls do you agree number two do you think instrumentalists like girls because of what we can do and number three or oh, we use what we can do as an advantage of uh, over girls and number three is it true that girls like instrumentalists they that they have said that, that you you melky you play saxophone i'll come for you so three questions please i've given you Okay. <laughs> 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 